this is Sorry, Sakan, Duelist of Clan Smoke Jaguar, Living Legends Chapter, Beta Galaxy. This is a trial between Grim Avenger 93 and that one Templar. There are no ramifications to this fight, rather who has the better mech skills. This is a fight to the defeat of your opponent. May no one interfere. I have certified the both of you in the correct assets. And begin. User left your channel. User was moved out of your channel. User was moved out User of your joined channel. Your channel. Should we start calling you Sergeant at Arms or seen as I don't think Proxima the word is defined? Can we just call you the Proxima at Arms? Yes. That's what you will call me. Proxima at Arms. Okay, let's see. I see a laptop, a filing cabinet, a couch. A blow-up doll, a dead hooker, a hookah. If you look under the sofa really carefully, you'll see some cocaine. Nice. What about, what about cocaine accessories? And cocaine accessories. The... Strap in, kids. God, this, this could be this... a long drive. This map is just so fucking huge. God damn. Well, if it helps, uh, Grim Avenger is um, on the cushions behind the computer chair by the window. The one drawback of this map is that the hitboxes of those discs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck, I remember that Chaos March match. Jesus Christ. Well, Chaos March has to be fun sometimes, else all the tryhardiness ruin it. Yeah, it has to be fun sometimes. Other times we play on Emmy's room. <laughs> I gotta say, if you can make Chaos March like the CSF drops last night, big thumbs up. <laughs> what, one team wins all of them? Hey? Overwhelmingly? <laughs> yeah, oh no, no, that, that was just too much fun. Oh. <laughs> uh... I'm like that. Mar that. Marius did a I, great I don't job. Wanna I don't want to talk shit about CSF, but... They, no, no, no Mar little... Marius did a great job I commanding see. that one, I gotta say. I, it was a little frustrating to see um, on that Stone Rose match where, like, I'm barely, I'm barely in a medium. And I look oh. up the hill and there's, like, three Mad Cats there and I check the scoreboard. And, like, all the CSF guys have, like, zero kills and six deaths. Nothing wrong with that map, but you had to, you poor thing, you had to play that twice today? Um, <laughs> still this, me, Rook, and Carbon were the only ones quite literally carrying that team. <laughs> literally. Um, I'm glad SJ had such a turnout. I uh, would have <laughs> been with you, but uh, sleep. I mean, I was awake, but I'm like, am I going to get up? Okay, if I do, this will be tired for chaos. Oh, I'll go to sleep. <laughs> mm. I'll do the next one. CFS still has a way to go. They're still squishy. Well, I mean, one quite a few of them are only turning up just for the event. They don't actually yeah. play, so... Yeah. you got to give them that, you know. I find Rusk to be a worthy adversary to at least my skill level, and I believe slightly above. I'm a ab blow, slightly below average to average player, depending on what I'm in. Yeah. That said... Just think of how often Smoke Jaguar plays together, even when you guys are just dicking around on the team speak. That adds up after a while. It certainly does. Maybe in the next, maybe in a in a in a future beta, if they ever do one, they can make jump jet fuel limited, like coolant. Well, it should be that way. In lore, jump jets actually did not have fuel. They, they had didn't. reaction mass. They would actually suck in the atmosphere that the mech was in, press it, and then send it through the uh, whatever it is that they used to push it out at whatever so the jet nozzles like are. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Reading the books, most of them have a limited amount of reaction mass. So they're only capable of about five or six jumps before they can't jump any further. I think that's when they started creating improved jump jets. Hmm. Maybe. 
I don't think they took mechs with long enough range. See, if I was playing this in a 1v1, I would absolutely make sure I had BHP, because, like... Yeah. If someone challenged me to a 1v1 on this map, I think I'd forfeit. <laughs> just, to, just to avoid the, like, 50 minutes, the, uh, the SJ red tier time length of the duel. You guys have had oh, some the, epic uh, fights the past a, a, couple of weeks. I, I swear to God, I swear to God, if Red challenges me on another, if, if I lose, the, if I win the coin toss, actually, next time Red challenges me, I'm just gonna forfeit. You'd be the one to actually pick the map now. Well, yeah, yeah, I you, know. you pick the map. Bread no, no, basket. if I if if I lose, uh, then I pick it. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> if I if I lose, I'm just gonna pick Hell's Gate or something. Oh no, Hell's he's, Gate, there Hell's are places Gate. to hide in Hell's Gate. Had I really wanted to challenge Templar with uh, my stealth skills, there's a place on that map you can't be found. But I mean, it's not going to take 30 fucking minutes to find your opponent. You no, know, yeah, okay, there are places to hide, but like, yeah. Jeez, did you see that Phlegaton ma match? Like, it was 20, like, 5 minutes before I even saw Red. I could and then as soon as find I you guys using <laughs> Spectate half the time. Like, Red actually said uh, to me midway through that that he regret picking that map because he forgot how hard it was to see. And, like, he said he saw me once or twice, but uh, by the time he maneuvered to hit me, I was gone and he couldn't find me through the sandstorm. <laughs> and I didn't see him until, like, 25 minutes, and then as soon as I actually saw him, I charged him and rushed him, and that was that. But, Christ. Templar is next to the computer, so they're at least kind of a little teeny bit near each other. Yeah, they're looking the wrong way, or Grim is looking the wrong way, though. Now he's going the wrong way. Hmm. Oh, time to alt tab. Be awesome if that laptop magically came alive. Okay. Alright, Templar, you're looking in the right direction. Now you just need, like, a. Oh, he's got a shot off. Why oh. fire? That's way out of range, isn't it? Nope, nope. he's in range. Now oh, Grim has to hurry up and, uh. Good thing Max don't have fall damage. Templar might have him, just from those strikes alone. Those ATMs are going to add up quick. Yeah, true. Except now he's down the hill. To, uh, fucking Templar can just pop dart him. Well, wait a minute. He's one more carrying asset or something, right? He needs to run away. <laughs> it's amazing how much that shit will burn in your mind after you do a thousand of those. Now, here's the problem with Templar. He, he can't be beat jump jetting, and he, yeah, jump jetting and he firing that to, PPC. He needs to drop down and, and get two feet away. Oh boy. <laughs> I can't tell if he missed or if he did exactly what he was trying to do. Oh, he, he, nah, he, he missed. He dropped down. He missed. Now, activate that mask, damn you. Gr Grim's got good position. Yeah, I thought Templar had this, but Grim is in pretty decent position now. All of a sudden, a cat makes appearance. Don't keep a distance, Templar. No. So what camouflage would like fit in with this map? Temple has got a pretty decent one. Oh, Ouch. Hey, he's down. Those ATMs, man. Bum, bum.